Hello, my name is Igor and I created this video for my students because they had to draw this technical drawing in using an offset session. Uh, this video will uh, be split in two parts. In first part, I am designing this in Design Spark Mechanica, which is a 3D CAD software, because I want to export and 3D print this object. In second part, I am drawing this in QCAD, which is two-dimensional CAD software. Here you can see the timestamps, so you can jump to part of the video you would like to see. So let's start with the first one. I'm starting with a rectangle and I want to define it from the center. I'm entering the dimensions are 100 by 50 millimeters. And now I'm extruding a 10 millimeter length. This is the base for this object. And now in this plane, uh, I've rotated, I'm defining the side wall, but it is defined from the bottom. So it's 40 millimeter high from the bottom of this previous rectangle box. And now I'm extruding it by 7 millimeters inside this body. And I'm moving the working plane uh, here and just adding this line because I want to extrude this triangle uh, to inside by 6 millimeters. Okay, the object is ready. I have to add those holes. Now uh, I have to define the Cartesian dimension, the base, uh, because from this I want to give the center point, it is defined from this, and entering uh, the diameters. And now I'm creating, first I create this uh, small hole, and this, this second circle is only 5 millimeter deep, so I'm creating this step hole. And now adding to those two holes now. Again, I'm using a Cartesian dimension, defining the position from this corner or position of the center of the hole. And entering two circles. And now again moving the origin for the coordinates, so de defining the circle, center of the circle from this corner. And now I'm creating the holes. This is only two millimeter deep, and now I'm adding uh, to this edge a chamfer of exactly two millimeters. Okay, object is ready. Uh, I want to 3D print this, and I want to add a line for the offset section. This will be the cutting plane. So I'm just uh, creating a copy of the object because I want uh, both sides to keep. So I'm extruding this surface, so I created this object. Uh, this is one half of the my new object and I'm removing the second part and this is the second half. So I have both parts. I will add some magnets, maybe hole for magnets, and I will print this later. So basically now uh, we can see how does it look in three dimensions. Those vertical lines are not drawn in this because they are just imaginary line. Now we are in the QCAD. I'm starting with the layers. After I define the layers, uh, I start with the first corner and I'm entering the relative coordinates. When it starts with this monkey sign, this means the coordinate is relative from the last position. Okay, the rectangle is closed. Now I'm using that the last position of the cursor is here, so I'm defining the position of the next line uh, by 7 and 0 millimeters position. And same position, so now it's in upper pos uh, corner is the last position of the cursor. So from here, I go down six millimeters and this is the first point and drawing this line. Now I'm moving the origin uh, here in the left bottom corner because from here I'm defining the center of the circle. I am entering the radius here in command line here. 
And now again moving the origin of the coordinate system to this uh, right bottom corner. And from here I will define again with the relative coordinates the center of my next circle. And it is 5 mm in radius and I'm adding this second circle too. Okay, now I will add uh, center lines for these circles. Adding to the second circle too. And again, I'm moving the origin here, the origin point, because from here, 20 millimeter in upper direction, I have to extend this line, uh, is the center of this hole, which we cannot see now in, uh, from this view. And now add, I am adding these lines. This is for the offset section, uh, section line of the cutting. I'm marking the line of the offset section plane and uh, adding these arrows. Don't be confused uh, if you are from US because this is the European order of the views. So uh, the arrows are showing in upper direction. So there will be the, uh, the section drawn. Mm, this is uh, more. I'm using the grid wire uh, net now for easier drawing. Okay, adding a center line for the holes. And drawing the holes. Again, here I'm using the grid lines because it's rounded to the millimeter now. This line is also visible. This is 10 and 20 millimeter in diameter. And this line is also visible. Okay, and now uh, let's create a section lines. But the problem is that I have to select a polygon, so I have to break these lines because I need closed polygons for the hedge tool to create those section lines. So selecting a line and, and click to break it. And now I can select close polygons. And I have here one, two, three, four polygons and adding a hedge. And uh, section is prepared. I'm, I'm just naming the section. So this is AA section. And now I have to draw the dimensions. I'm selecting the dimension layer and I'm starting with the dimensions. I have to break this line because I don't want any line to go over any number. That's important role in technical drawings. Now the horizontal dimensions. Oh, I can add the dimension on this view, seven millimeter. Okay, let's define the position, the diameters of the holes. Now let's go to the next view. I'm giving the position of the holes. And one more. Okay. Now dimensions are here, but holes have to be defined by using the diameter symbol. Uh, I don't know what is the shortcut for this symbol. I always copy 
from the Google searching for diameter symbol and copy it here. So I, I'm uh, in the property editor. Uh, I add this diameter symbol and then this symbol smaller and bigger. This means the dimension will be always uh, the exact number if even if I scale change the dimension. So the uh, dimensions are prepared and we can see now in print preview. Let's make it black and white. Uh -huh, it's, I have to move it because it's uh, on the edge of the paper. Selecting and with the move command in the command line I'm moving this whole drawing and I have to change this because it's defined from this corner here and uh, according to my original drawing and now this drawing is ready let's see again the print preview now you can see those lines in different white and this is ready for printing for example well that would be it I hope you find this video a little bit interesting or useful and thank you for watching. Bye.